Hey YouTubers, this is Jacques Ains. I am here today to talk to you about the X-T30. This is part of my tutorial series on the X-T30 and X-T3 settings. Today, I'm going to show you how to get that little nasty Q button fixed so it doesn't brush and pop up all the time when you don't want it to. Stay tuned. So, hey YouTubers, I have been... Uh, working with the X-T30 for a little while and loving it. I'm using it mostly for street photography with the 23mm f1.4. But today I wanted to talk to you about something and it's about the position of the Q button. Now I personally love the position of the Q button, but a lot of people on my channel complained and said that when you brush, you keep on brushing on it because of its position, it's a bit of a mess. Well, I'm here to announce some great news. We're going to fix all of that today. And it's really, really simple. I spoke to the people at Fuji about the problem. And they said, listen, what is your firmware? And I said, mine is 1.0. They said, okay, first thing you got to do is switch your firmware to the new 1.1 firmware. So I would invite everybody to go to the fujifilmfirmware.com. Now go to that URL. It's a new URL they have, which gets you straight to the firmware, uh, the different new firmwares that you can use on your camera. So go over to that website, fujifilmfirmware.com, and you will be presented with the following page. Now, uh, you go down to interchangeable lens cameras right here in the X system because obviously it's the X-T30. And in there, you can find the list of all the different X cameras. You go down and you find X-T30 and you do the firmware download. Now, I'm not going to get into the details of how to update your firmware, but I do want to tell you guys, now you have a new function within the firmware that is going to make a lot of you people happy. I really think so. So you go over to, let's go to the menu right now. Now I'm in the, my camera. I'm just going to go menu. And now what you can do is via the define buttons function, just go up to the wrench, go over to power button dial setting. Give me a second here. Setting. In here, you can go to function setting. And when you go into function setting, now, let me just move myself out of the way here. There we go. Now, all you got to do is scroll down. You got the normal function define settings, but now within your settings, you have Q. You can redefine the Q button. There's not a lot of functions, and that's the only sort of critique I have. I think they should give more functions to the Q button, but you can go for the default Q menu. You can use it as a playback button, Bluetooth on or off, but you know, I don't see myself. I mean, it's a button that's easy to brush. So I don't think it's a good idea to do that. But anyways, so for the people who have really been bothered by smacking that Q button at the wrong time, I'd advise you to redefine it as none. When you redefine it as none, there it is. And you now have your Q button not doing a damn thing. You can press it and nothing's going to happen. I don't think it's a fix, but it is a workaround. I think what would be really cool for those people who really enjoy having a quick menu, like I do sometimes, is it should just be a double tap. It should be a button that they re redefine where you press the button twice to get what you want. That will eliminate any sort of accidental brushes and it might be a good idea for that. That's all I wanted to talk to you guys about today. I just wanted to tell you that there's a bit of a fix for that Q button. I still love it. I personally do like it. What do you guys think? Give me your information. Tell me what you think about the Q button and if this solves the problem for you. Thanks for watching, people. Like, share, subscribe, and don't forget, everybody, keep on making something from nothing.